good morning today we are going to see the expression of a wheel cycle on work and calculation on the mean effective pressure in previous class itself we discussed the, how to derive the expression for efficiency of wheel cycle so in continue <coughs> with that we are go for a work done calculation and mean effective pressure so we will start with work done calculation of dual cycle so the network then is a rigid summation of work takes place between process 1 and 2 and process between 2 and 3 process between 3 and 4 process 4 and 5 and process 5 and 1 so actually here we are having a two reversible adiabatic process in that one is a compression another one is here expansion right so where the work uh, where the compression process takes place which is work done on the system and expansion which is work done by the system so sign is used here is a positive and negative respectively right and we are having a two constant volume process and one more thing is here sorry one constant pressure process so actually uh, during the heat addition partial amount of uh, constant volume and constant process uh, pressure process takes place during heat react, uh, react, uh, rejection purely constant volume process takes place right so the process between 2 and 3 and 3 and 4 and 5 and 1 so where 3 and 4 and 5 and 1 which is a constant volume process 2 and 3 is a constant pressure process due to constant <coughs> due to constant volume process definitely the work done for a constant volume process must be zero right and uh, here is a work done will be zero since which is a constant volume process where uh, volume is constant so you see work done between 1 and 2 which is a compression process so we are using a negative sign the work done for uh, adiabatic process is p2 v2 minus p1 v1 divided by gamma minus 1 and work done between 3 and 4 which is a constant pressure process the uh, general formula is right so here we can use p2 or p3 whatever may be since which is a pressure constant pressure process and uh, work done takes place between 4 and 5 which is again a reverse adiabatic process so actually which is a work done on the system so we are saying as here p4 v4 minus p5 v5 divided by gamma minus 1 now go for the summation w you can write so we can write equation like this minus of p2 v2 minus p1 v1 divided by gamma minus 1 so here just uh, <coughs> rearrange the equation and replace the sum of the relation parameters p3 here it, taking commonly outside is the v3 so remaining parameters v4 by v3 minus of 1 plus uh, before that we need to substitute some uh, relations so please we know that compression ratio is nothing but v1 divided by v2 
so from that we can say v1 equal to r into v2 right so actually the process between uh, 2 and 3 which is a constant volume process since constant volume process v2 equal to v3 so we can say r into v3 also okay then uh, cutoff ratio is nothing but cutoff ratio is nothing but v4 by v3 which is already discussed in the last class itself right if you have any doubt please you can refer a pv diagram also and v5 which is equal to v1 since which is a constant volume process so v5 right v5 we can say v1 so just to multiply with the factor v2 by v so which is nothing but r compression ratio we know that so r into v2 and again we can say as v2 equal to v3 because of constant volume process so instead of v5 i can substitute r into v3 like that instead of v5 i can say v1 and instead of v4 by v3 i can able to substitute rho and instead of v3 i can say r into v2 or r into v2 uh, v3 so depend upon the <coughs> conditions we can apply okay now v4 v4 instead of v4 we can say what's that see here instead of v4 we can say rho into v3 so instead of p4 sorry v4 i can substitute rho into v3 minus p5 and likewise, instead of V5, I can say V1. V1 is nothing but you can substitute R into V3 also, right? Divided by gamma minus 1. Minus of P2. V2 is nothing but which is equal to V3 minus of P1. V1 which is equal to what's that? We can say as R into V2. Otherwise, we can say as R into V3 divided by comma minus one so now stays <coughs> so p3 p3 here also v4 by v3 is nothing but rho minus one plus p4 into rho into v3 minus p5 into r into v3 minus of p2 v3 minus p1 into r into v3 so since in numerator uh, denominator we have a same term so we can say as 4 comma minus 1 so again we can say P, just taking LCM, right? So P3 V3 into rho minus 1 into gamma minus 1 if taking LCM plus P4 into rho into V3 minus P5 into R into V3 minus of P2 V3 minus <coughs> P1 into R by 3 whole divided by gamma minus 1. Okay, right. Then then P3 V3 into rho minus 1 into gamma minus 1 just to keep the same thing plus so in second parameter just to taking commonly outside the tape p4 so p4 in there rho v3 minus of p5 by p4 in the or v3 right so minus of here also just to taking commonly outside the tape p2 so here we can 
take commonly I would say event P to V3 also. Right? 1 minus minus P to V3 is taking commonly outside minus already taking P2 commonly outside. So P1 divided by P2 into R. So already we have a team B3 outside here. Right? So whole divided by gamma minus 1. So next is again. Okay. Now we need to replace the tame instead of P5 by P4 and P1 by P2. So you can use such relations between 4 and 5 and 1 and 2. Right? See. Uh, first, you need to see this. Actually, you have you need to consider the process between four and five. Process between four and five. So, which is a reversible adiabatic expansion process. So, you can use this basic equation: p four v four power gamma equal to p five v five power gamma. <coughs> right. So, the actually the relation already we discussed in uh, efficiency calculation itself. So directly I can use P5, P4, we can say as rho divided by R power gamma. If you have doubt, please refer the previous efficiency calculation. Okay. Right. And for P2, and for just considering the process 1 and 2, so which is a reversible adiabatic compression process, so I can consider P1, V1 power gamma equal to P2, V2 power gamma. So from that I can say P1 divided by P2 which is equal to P2 divided by P1 whole power gamma. So actually V1 by V2 is a R. So here I have a reciprocal term R power <coughs> gamma, R power minus gamma. So now you can replace the previous uh, equation. See. P3. P3 is just a given inside. Rho minus 1 into gamma minus 1. Plus. Actually, the process between 4 and 3, right? 3 and 4. 1 and 2 is a reversible uh, compression. 2 and 3 is a constant volume. 3 and 4 is a constant pressure process. So, actually, here we're having a third parameter. So, instead of P4, here also I'm considering P3, right? So, please note since process between 3 and 4 is a constant pressure process, so I can consider instead of P3. Four equal to P three. Okay, so P three into rho. So the whole team already taking commonly outside P three. See, so rho minus instead of P four for P four, I can substitute rho power R sorry rho by R power gamma into R. Okay. Already B3 also taking commonly outside there. Minus of P2, B3 taking common. 1 minus, instead of P1 by P2, I can say R power minus gamma into R. Okay, whole divided by gamma minus 1.
So then, so just to simplify the above equation, P3 into P3 into rho minus 1 into gamma minus 1 plus P3 into rho minus rho power gamma into r power 1 minus gamma, right? Minus P2 into 1 minus r power 1 minus gamma whole divided by gamma minus 1. So let's just take this. So from the whole team, just to keep taking commonly outside the team P2. So P2, P3 is nothing but which is equal to V2 since constant volume process, process constant volume process. Already here I'm taking commonly outside here there is no P2. So P3 divided by P2 into rho minus 1 into comma minus 1 plus Again, P3 divided by P2 into rho minus rho power gamma into r power 1 minus gamma minus of 1 minus of r power 1 minus gamma. Whole divided by gamma minus 1. Then just to multiplying the factor, so P two V two the stage P two V two in so actually P three by P two is a pressure ratio right or p so again p2 by p3 by p2 is a pressure ratio you can say as or p so remaining term is just you can write whatever that Whole divided by gamma minus one. So maybe you can note here. Pressure ratio is nothing but P3 by P2. Then just to multiplying the factor, we get P2 V2 in there. So for into gamma. O into 1, likewise 1 into gamma, 1. So if you're multiplying the team, you get RP into rho into gamma 
minus of rho gamma into rp uh, sorry uh, rp into rho right minus rp into gamma minus into minus plus rp so this is first one then plus rho into rp minus rho power gamma into rp into r power 1 minus gamma minus of 1 minus into minus plus r power 1 minus gamma whole thing divided by gamma minus 1 okay and again instead of p2 v2 you can use some other uh, relation uh, v2 is nothing but r is v1 by v2 so instead of uh, v2 we can say r into v1 right see just we need to replace the tame both thing just you can consider the compression ratio is v1 by v2 so from that v2 equal to 1 v1 by r you can substitute and instead of a process between 1 and 2 right so we know that P1 V1 gamma equal to P2 V2 gamma. So from that uh, we actually we need a P2. So P2 divided by P1 equal to P1 by V2 whole power gamma, which is nothing but R power gamma. So P2 is P1 into R power gamma. So we can substitute that there instead of P1. So instead of v2, I can say p1 into r power gamma. Instead of v2, I can say v1 into r power minus 1. Okay. All thing. So just to see any other term, it cancel here. In demo equation. rp rho gamma. Okay. So see any other term have rp rho gamma rp into rho gamma no idea right um, rp rho rp rho rp rho c here rp rho here plus cancel and see any other team rp into p power gamma here actually this is uh, rp into rho so the only one team will cancel right any other team no team so okay just taking commonly outside here rp rho into gamma so remaining term is sorry just taking commonly rp into gamma so remaining term is rho minus of 1 okay plus So here, just taking commonly outside RP. So here having a RP, 
plus R P minus one minus just taking commonly outside R power one minus gamma R power one minus gamma. So remaining term is remaining term is R power one minus gamma. Remaining term is R P into rho power gamma minus one. Okay. So see here. R P into rho gamma minus of one, then plus R P minus one. So here just taking commonly outside R power one minus gamma. So remaining term is my uh, R P into rho power gamma minus one. So whole divided by gamma minus one. So just you can say, there the equation P1 into V1, base is common, so R power gamma minus 1, RP gamma into rho minus 1, plus R suffix P minus 1, minus R power 1 minus gamma into RP into rho power gamma minus 1, okay. so the whole divided by gamma minus 1. So this is the what time calculation of your fuel cycle. Okay. So let's we will see how to derive an expression for a mean effect pressure of fuel cycle. So already know that the general formula for measuring mean effect pressure is nothing but work done divided by V1 minus V2. Already we measured the work done, right? So in this term, just taking commonly outside V1. So 1 minus V2 by V1. So, work done divided by uh, V1 into 1 minus V2 by V1 is nothing but 1 by R. Okay, so now you can use the work done equation P1 V1 into R power gamma minus 1 into RP into gamma into rho minus 1 plus RP minus 1 plus, sorry minus r power 1 minus gamma into rp into rho power gamma minus 1 divided by gamma minus 1 right so we having a v1 into if you taking lcm r minus 1 divided by r so v1 v1 get cancel and uh, here we have a r here r power minus 1 get cancel so remaining term is the mean of the pressure is P1 into R power gamma into R3 into gamma into O minus 1 plus RP minus 1 minus R power 1 minus gamma into rp into rho power gamma minus 1 okay whole divided by gamma minus 1 into r minus 1 so this is the final equation for measuring mean of the pressure of dune cycle in terms of uh, pressure ratio cutoff ratio and compression ratio
थैंक यू